shadows behind the camera, a camera focused for this program on a fairly out of the way and little known corner of Europe, the land of the Basques. We place this camera directly on an international border. Over on that side is the ancient kingdom of Navarre, and there, where the low Pyrenees start ambling down to the sea, is France. It's still pretty heavily guarded up here, and for quite a time after the war in Spain, this border was closed, tight, a sort of miniature iron curtain. At least that was the theory. But in war, a piece old times are new to the people who actually live up here. This border has always been more of a theory than a fact. A theory of the French and Spanish governments whose vigilant customs officers patrol it. No, the people who live here are neither French nor Spanish. They're Basques. And the rise and fall of other republics, other kingdoms has never made them forget it, that they're Basques. And that Basques are what Basques are. Well, what is a Basque? All we know for sure is what a Basque is not. Besides not being French or Spanish, a Basque is not Mediterranean, Alpine, Magyar, Celtic, Germanic, Semitic, nor Scandinavian. He isn't even Aryan. Nobody knows who his ancestors were. According to him, Adam and Eve were pure Basque. And it's true that his position is something like the Red Indians in America. He's an Aboriginal. He's in Europe before the other Europeans came along. To this day, he speaks his own weird language, a tongue no expert has ever been able to trace. Over there, in General Franco's half of the Basque country, this language is quite literally against the law. It's treason to speak it in Spain, so of course, since Basques will be Basques, their language is spoken just a little bit more on the Spanish side. What we're hearing now isn't part of some Basque conversation. It isn't a war hoop. It's a sort of call, a signal sung from France to Spain. It has to do with pigeons. There they are. Believe it or not, those pigeons are flying directly over the regular smuggling route. They do it every year. Every day, more than a thousand people smuggle something or other across this border. I don't know how many pigeons there are up there, but I can assure you that smuggling is the biggest industry in these parts, except during the pigeon season. These are German and English pigeons, very orderly and methodical pigeons, and they turn up annually at this border, just at this time, just here, where the Basques on both sides, working in perfectly illegal and harmonious cooperation, catch them. Catch is the right word, too, because here pigeons aren't shot at. The rifle fire is only a sound effect produced by that long strip of cloth on the pole. This saves ammunition and persuades the impressionable German pigeon that he is being shot at. Those wooden discs, suggesting at the same time that he's being chivied by hawks. But in fact, he and the rest of his flock are only being rounded up and corralled. A maneuver of the highest intricacy and beauty that begins in France and ends in Spain, where the birds are netted out of the sky like fish. That's a Basque invention. So is whaling. Yes, the fantastic notion that the world's biggest creature could be hunted and harpooned from an open boat was actually dreamed up by the Basque sailors on this coast. Let's not forget the beret, either. Every Basque invents the beret all over again when he puts it on. There seems to be no end to the angles, no limit to the variations of individual tilt. Well, we brought our cameras up to this little Basque village high in the mountains where only Basque is spoken. Who should we run into but our friend here, who's uh, just as much an American as a Basque. How many years did you live in America? 23 years. 23 years. What part of the United States? Colorado. Montrose, Colorado. What? Montrose, Colorado. You liked it there? Yes. You speak very good English. You know, you speak <laughs> Basque and French, too. What I, else? I used to speak better when I was over there. I'm forgetting now. You're forgetting. <laughs> How long have you been here? 15 months. 15 months. You think you'd go back again? Oh, I'll right. I hope. Well, there's, of course, an explanation for your speaking such good American. People don't realize, I think, that the Basques, who are great sheep herders, and you began as a sheep herder, is that right, uh, are in great demand all over the world, and in many countries there are special quotas for Basques, particularly in America. Now, tell us, what do you miss over here that you had over there? I wasn't missing anything but just in this country, that's all. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
And tell me, when you're here, what do you miss from Colorado? I miss everything I had over there. <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> when you went to America, you began as a sheep herder, is that right? Yes, and most of the people do come from this country, is that right? Yes. Uh, they're sheep herders. They know a lot about it here. That's about all they do. Yes. Over the first few years, anyway. And afterwards, what did you do? Well, some of them just changed their job. First few years, they had sheep. And you, what did you do? I had sheep all the time. And then afterwards? Afterwards, I run some of my own. You run some of your own? Yes. But you stayed in America and got into other lines of work, didn't you? Didn't you tell me you were a truck driver? You... Well, I had the truck. I saw my own, too. Oh, your own truck? After you were there, yes. Yes. So you used to get into town a good deal. You So, so doing something for television like <laughs> yeah, this isn't, yeah. isn't new to you. You've seen television. Oh, yeah, I see. I saw them all around. What did you see in television? Oh, I saw them in a lot of different things. What did you like? Oh, I like stock show best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I don't care much about the rest. No, I, I, I can understand that. And uh, why did you come back here? I came back to see my folks, and I like it so much. Yeah. My hometown, so. <laughs> what? Why did you come back? See my folks, and then I liked my hometown so much, so I stopped here, and I stay here about a year now. No, 15 months. Here, you, here. Are you glad you came back? Yes. Well, it's a nice country here, too, isn't it? Oh, it's a beautiful country. Now, why have you been staying here this long? Because, because I got married. You got married? I did. You did? <laughs> to a girl here? Yes. Well, we'd love to meet her, could we? Is she around here somewhere? Ah, uh, she's here. Would you ask her to come here? No, she's not This is my wife. I'm very glad <laughs> to meet you. Oh, <laughs> hmm? you just can't. You just can't. I'll Yes, 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 Can you? I wish, <laughs> I wish I could speak fast. It's very difficult for us to learn it. It is. Did you just meet her now when you came back? No, Your I knew her before. You knew her before? Yes, I did. You mean all those years before no, you came? but I was here two years ago, so I knew I hadn't been back. Maybe that's why you came back, is it? <laughs> yes, I did. Part of it. That's part of it, is it? Part of it. Well, are you going to bring her to America if you go back? Someday. Someday. Yeah. Okay. Ask her if she'd like to come to America. Please. What? She says yes. <laughs> she says yes. That's yes in Basque. That's it. Is that what it means? Yeah. All right. And, and tell me this. Of all the uh, uh, the girls you met in America, it's funny you live all those years and never got married in America. No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't ever even get to get married then. Yeah. And I saw her. Well, yeah, it changed then, everything. Then I got the picture. <laughs> you got a picture. <laughs> Is she, is she, uh, would she like to go to America because she'd like to be with you or because she's curious to see what it's like? Oh, she'd like to see the country. Yeah, sure. But then you'll come back here and stay, won't you? Is she from the village here, from the yeah, town? Yeah, right here, this house. Yes. This house, right next to us? This house. Oh, it's very nice. That's where we live. Good for you, and so nice. I'll shop. Before another year, I'll be back for the other. <laughs> Good, you will? I think so. You'll be in Colorado? I'll be back in Colorado for another year. Well, good enough. I, I might meet you over there. Good enough. Bye-bye. <laughs>